bottom of page 211. The meaning of Shabbat is to celebrate time rather than space. Six days a week we live under the tyranny of things of space. On Shabbat we try to become attuned to the holiness in time. It is a day on which we are called upon to share in what is eternal in time. To turn from the results of creation to the mystery of creation, from the world of creation to the creation of the world. Baruch Ata Adonai Mikadesh HaShabbat. Ritzei Adonai Eloheinu Be'amcha Yisrael Utfilatam Be'ava Tikabel Uti Leratzon Tamid Avodat Yisrael Amecha. Baruch Ata Adonai should ha levad ha beir a navod. Hoda'a, the prayer of thanksgiving, where we repeat the phrase, modim anach nulach, we are grateful to you. Bottom of page 214. For the expanding grandeur of creation, worlds known and unknown, galaxies beyond galaxies fill, filling us with awe and challenging our imaginations. Modim anach nulach. For this fragile planet, its times and tides, its sunsets and seasons. Modim, Modim anach, anach nulach. For the joy of human life, its wonders and surprises, its hopes and achievements. Modim, Modim anach, anach nulach. For human community, our common past and future hope, our oneness transcending all separation, our capacity to work for peace and justice in the midst of hostility and oppression. Modim anach nulach. For high hopes and noble causes, for faith without fanaticism, for understanding of views not shared. Modim anach nulach. For all who have labored and suffered for a fairer world, who have lived so that others might live in dignity and freedom, modim anach nulach. For human liberties and sacred rights, for opportunities to change and grow, to affirm and choose, modim anach nulach. We pray that we may live not by our fears, but by our hopes, not by our words, but by our deeds. Baruch Ata Adonai, Atov Shimcha, Lacha Nae, Lahotot.
pause for a moment of silent prayer. We're going to try that again. Take two. Take two. Go back to your silent prayer for a moment. Your heads. While I remedy this. service this morning as we turn to the order for the reading of Torah on page 245. <clears throat> Assemble the people, men, women, and children, and the strangers in your cities to hear, to learn, to revere Adonai your God to observe faithfully the words of this Torah, and to let their children who do not yet know it hear, that they too may learn to revere Adonai, your God. Top of 246, and we rise. Ki Oh, man. 
Its teaching is love and justice, goodness and hope. Freedom is its gift to all who treasure it. Baruch Shevatan from the Torah this morning comes from the first book as we read through the book of Genesis. It is the fourth portion. We read today from Genesis chapter 22, a very famous story, one that we read not only uh, as a regular part of our weekly readings for this, this Shabbat, but also we read it on Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year as the portion that explains where the use of the shofar comes from, the ram, the ram that is eventually offered in place of Isaac uh, when Abraham is asked to sacrifice his son. You can follow along in the Torah commentaries that are in the pews in front of you on page 146. We call first to the Torah, we call we go first to the Torah, Barbara Kraft. Bless Adonai who is blessed. Blessed is Adonai who is blessed now and forever. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has chosen us from among the peoples and given us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives the Torah. Amen. Not yet. 
You're not done yet. You got to do the one after. Too. Not I yet. thought that she's going to be. Right? She is going to be. So just stay there. Okay. Bye, he. Aha, Advarim, ha, Ela, Viha, Elohim, Nisa, et Avraham, Vayomer, a love, Avraham, Vayomer, he, Nani, Vayomer, Kachna, et Binha, a Yihidha, Asha Hafta, et Yitha, Villa, Leha, El Eret, Hamaria, Viha Elehu Sham Lila Al Ahad Heharim Asher Omar Elecha Vayash came Avraham Babo Ker Vayachavosh Etamaro Vayikach Echene Nearav Ito Ve Eitak Beno Vayavaka at say, O la, Vayakum Vayelech, El Hamakom, Asher Milo, Ha Elohim, Bayom Hashlishi, Vayisa Avraham, Etenav, Vayar, Et Hamakom, Mebrahok, Vayomer Avraham, El Narav, Shivilechem po im ha hamor, Vani vihanaar, Nelcha ako, Vinish tahave, Vinashuva alehem. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, sovereign of the universe, who has given us a Torah of truth and planting within us eternal life. Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives the Torah. Amen. Mishaberach avotenu Abraham Yitzchak v'yakov v'imotenu Sarah Rivka Leah v'rachel. May the God who blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel, bless you as you've come to the Torah this day in honor of God, in honor of Shabbat, and as you stand with your granddaughter on this day of her bat mitzvah. May she always make you proud. May she give you many times of joy and happiness. And may the year and years ahead be filled with health, with happiness, and with peace. Together we say, Amen. And now we call Wendy and Jason Kraft. Vaya Rog et Haitim, Vaya Kod 
at ye top and no fire semoto all homies bear me more like Ruka ta Adonai, Eloheinu melech halom, asher natalanu Torah and med, b'chaye olam la ta betoheinu, baruch ata Adonai, nutein ha Torah. Amen. Mishaberach avoteinu raham Yitzchak v'yakov imoteinu sarah rivka le'ev Rachel. May the God who blessed our ancestors bless the two of you as you come to the Torah this day. In honor of God, in honor of Torah, and as you stand with your daughter, as you stand with Kayla on this day of her bat mitzvah. May this be only one of many days she makes you proud, and may you continue to watch her grow and to become a fine young woman, one of whom you may be proud, your family may be proud, and we as the Jewish people may be proud. May the, years and, may the year and years ahead be filled with health, with happiness, and with peace. And together we say, Amen. Amen. And now we call for the very first time to do the blessings over the reading of the Torah. Chava bat Yonatan ve'Eliana ha'bat mitzvah chizki. We call Kayla Eve Kraft to the Torah. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach le'olam va'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Asher Bahar Banu Miko Hamim, Vinatan Lanu et Torato, Babu Hata Adunai, No Taina Torah. Amen. Vayikra ein lav malach Adonai min hashamayim. We started in the middle. That was my fault. Oh. Different vayikra. <laughs> Vaishlach Avraham et Yado Vaika no et Yado Vaika et Hamalachelet Lishot et Beno Vaikra a love Maach Adonai Minha Shamayim Vayomer Avraham Avraham Vayomer He He Ne No He Ne Ne Vayomer, Yomel Mer, Alchislach, Gan Ho, El Hanar, the old Taas, Lo, Milma, Ki, Ataya Dati, Kivere, Elohim, Ata, the Lo, Hasata, Et Binha, Et Yiha, Mi Mani, Vaisa, Avraham, Et Inav. Vayar vihine ayu ahar nehas vas vak bekarnov vayelach avraham vayikach et ayu vayohu la taha bina avraham shem hamakum hahu arunayir e asher yame 
Hayom Bahar Adonai Yerae Vaikra Vikra Maach Adonai Avraham Shini Min Hashamayim Vayomer Vayomer Di Nishpati Nu Adonai Ki Atayadati Asher asita et avar hasel velo hasakta et binha ehiha ehiha ki verech avarha veharbe arbe et avarha ki huve hashamai velhu asher asafat hayam verech shavarha et she Echar of Vibarhu Vizaraha Koke Oye Ha Arat E Kev Asher Shimata Bekoli Vayasev Avraham El Nara Vayakumu Vayahu Yachtav El Be'er Shava Vayasev Avraham be Baruchata Adonai Elohi nu melech alam Asher natan lanu Torah emet Vehayelam nata bitohinu Baruchata Adonai Noten ha Torah Amen Mishaberach avotenu Abraham Yitzchak v'Yaakov v'motenu Sarah Rivka Le'ev Rachel. May the God who blessed our ancestors bless you, Kayla, as you come to Torah this day. In honor of God, in honor of Torah, and as you are called to read from the Torah for the first time. May God bless you and keep you, God, all those who are dear to you. And may this be a day that you always remember, a day, a day you remember fondly, a day of, of much achievement and celebration. Together we ask God's blessing upon you, and we say... Amen. And it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there burnt offerings upon the mountains, which I will tell you. Abraham rose up early in the morning, saddled his ass, and took two of the young men with him, and Isaac his son, and broke the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went to the place which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place far away. Abraham said to his young man, Stay here with the ass, and I will go with the lad, will go yonder to worship, and come back for you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son, and took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they both went together. Isaac spoke to Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Here I am my son. And I said, Behold, the fire, the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for the burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And then they came to path to the place which God has told him. And Abraham built the altar and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Hineni, here I am. And he said, Lay not your hand upon the lad, nor do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, seeing that you did not withhold your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the place of his son. 
And Abraham called the name of that place Adonai Yireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, said the Lord, for because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, that in blessing I will bless you, and in multiplying I will multiply your seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and your seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in your seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned to his young man, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham lived at Beersheba. We continue as we turn the prayer asking for healing for those who are sick. As we turn to the middle of page 253.
Hello everyone, and thank you for coming to my bat mitzvah. I would like to thank everyone for their support during this time. I want to thank all my teachers at Sunday and Tuesday Religious School for teaching me everything that I know from kindergarten on up to this point. And I'm especially grateful to Rabbi Michelson and Mrs. Michelson for helping me prepare for my bat mitzvah. I'm grateful to Lala for providing music and being the song leader for my bat mitzvah today. Lastly, I couldn't do this without any, without the love and support from my parents and my sister. They have supported me through the whole process and helped me when I needed it the most. Bat mitzvah literally means daughter of commandment. A bat mitzvah is when you become a Jewish adult. A Jewish adult is being able to do things in Judaism that I wasn't able to do until now, like wearing a tallit and reading from the Torah. I'm committing myself to being Jewish. To do a bat mitzvah, I had to go to religious school every Sunday from kindergarten through fourth grade. Then in fourth to seventh grade, I did Tuesday and Sunday religious school and Hebrew school. I learned about my religion, like the holidays, what it means to be Jewish, how to read and speak Hebrew, the history of the Jewish people, about the country of Israel, etc. Mrs. Michelson taught me how to read Hebrew, chant trope, which is chanting Hebrew, which helped me a lot to prepare to lead this service. For religious school, you had to go to eight services per year to get breakfast with the rabbi. For my bat mitzvah, I had to go to 25 services, which may seem like a lot, but it's not as it averages to twice a month. Every week, I had a meeting with the rabbi to learn my Torah portion and Hof Torah portion. Going to religious school and meeting with the rabbi is where I learned all the prayers I did for you today. I had to practice at home a ton to be able to do what I did here in front of all of you today. I also had to do a bat mitzvah project, which is a community service project. Being a Jew, I understand that we should help God better the world. That is why I did a bat mitzvah project that is meaningful to me. My bat mitzvah project was to donate money and supplies to Feline Solutions Cat Rescue. I love animals and Feline Solutions is where we adopted our two kittens, Autumn and Gracie. Feline Solutions rescued and took care of my kittens when they were younger. Now I'm returning the favor. Feline Solutions is a nonprofit no-kill rescue in York, Pennsylvania. They rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome cats and kittens that were abandoned. I collected and donated money and supplies for Feline Solutions by setting up numerous collection boxes and writing letters asking for donations from several businesses that supply the items needed. Thank you to everyone who donated money or supplies. If you're coming to the social hall afterwards, you will see pictures of cats and kittens on the tables. These are some of the cats and kittens that need to be adopted from Feline Solutions right now. I have two good friends that I've known for a year. Their names are Josue and Victor. I'm happy that Josue was able to be here on my special day. They're both deaf. Josue joined my class in sixth grade due to being bullied in his original class. I learned sign language for him so I could communicate with him. Along the way, I met his friend, Victor, who now how does this relate to my Torah portion? I think that everything happens for a reason, and in my Torah portion, Abraham is willing to sacrifice his son, Isaac, just because um, God said so. Abraham trusted that God was telling him to sacrifice his son for a reason. Even though Abraham did not understand the reason why he knew she, he should have faith in God that he's making him trust that things happen for a reason. I felt bad that Josue was getting bullied, but if that did not happen, then we probably would not 
have of ever met or became friends. And if I did not meet Josue, I would probably have not met Victor either. Also, I would not have met Miss Kara, Josue's interpreter. She's become a positive mentor in my life. She taught me ASL, American Sign Language, and helped me communicate with him. She was also here supporting me today. So I learned you just have to trust in God that things happen for a reason. We continue this morning as we turn to the reading of the Haftarah portion. Uh, the Haftarah portion is a section from the books of the prophets that is related in some way to the Torah portion. Uh, the section that we read uh, today comes from the book of 2 Kings chapter 4. You can follow along in the Torah commentaries on page 334. <laughs> Asher Bahar bin Vim Tovim Rata Bedivraham Hanemarim Beeme Baruch Ata Adonai Haboher Patara Uf Moshe Avdo Uf Yisrael Amo Uvim Vie Ha Emet Vat Sedet Faisa aha min she, vene ha nevim, zaka el alisha le mor, of the ha ishi me, vata ya data, ki of the ha, ha ya ya re, et adonai. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-
she said to her husband, Behold now, I perceive that this is a holy man of God who passes by us continually. Let us make a little chamber, I beg you, on the wall, and let us set for him there a bed and a table, and a stool and a lamp stand, and it shall be when it comes to us that he shall turn in there. And it happened one day that it came there, and he turned into the chamber and lay there. And he said to Gehazi, his servant, Call it this Sunamite. And when he called her, she stood before him. And he said to him, Say now to her, Behold, you have been careful to take all this trouble for us. What is to be done for you? Would you be spoken for the king or to the captain of the army? And she answered, I live among my own people. And he said, What then is to be done for her? And Gehazi answered, Truly she has no child, and her husband is old. And he said, Call her. And when he called her, she stood in the door. And he said, About this season, in the coming year, you shall embrace a son. And she said, No, my lord, you may of God do not lie to your maidservant. And the woman conceived and bore a son at that season that Elijah had said to her in the following year. And when the child was grown, he fell one day when he went out to his father to the reapers. And he said to his father, My head, my head. And he said to a lad, Carry him to his mother. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees till noon and then died. And she went up and laid him on the bed of the man of God and closed the door upon him and went out. And she called to her husband and said, send me, I beg you, one of the young men and one of the asses, that I may run to the man of God and come again. And he said, Why will you go to him today? It is neither new moon nor Sabbath. And she said, It shall be well. Then she saddled an ass and said to her servant, Drive and go forward. Do not, slack, do not slacken the pace unless I bid you. And she went and came to the man of God to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her far away. And he said to Gehazi, his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shammai. Run now, I beg you, to meet her, and say to her, Is it well with you? Is it well with your husband? Is it well with the child? And she answered, It is well. And when she came to the man of God to the hill, she caught him by the feet. But Gehazi came near to thrust her away. And the man of God said, Let her alone, for her soul is grieved inside her, and the Lord hid it from me and did not tell me. Then she said, Did I ask my Lord for a son? Did I not say, Do not deceive me? Then he said to Gehazi, Gird up your loins and take my staff in your hand and go your way. If you meet any man, greet him not. And if any greets you, do not answer him back. And lay my staff upon the face of the child. 
And the mother of the child said, As the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. And he arose and followed her. And Gehazi passed on before them and laid the staff upon the face of the child. But there was neither voice nor sound. Therefore he went back to meet him and told him, saying, The child is not awakened. And when Elijah came into the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. He went in there, he went in therefore, and closed the door upon the two of them and prayed to the Lord. And he went up and he lay upon the child and put his mouth upon his mouth and his eyes upon his eyes and his hands upon his hands. And he stretched himself upon the child, and the flesh of the child became warm. Then he returned and walked in the house, to and fro, and went up and stretched himself upon him, and the child sneezed seven times, and the child opened his eyes. And he called Gehazi and said, Call this Shemite. And he called her. And when she came to him, he said, Take up your son. Then she went in and fell at his feet and bowed to the ground and took up her son and went out. Here ends the reading. Community, page 258, and I ask you to rise. Source of all being, may the children of this community learn these passions from us. Love of Torah, devotion and prayer, and support of the needy. May we guide with integrity and may our leadership be in your service. May those who teach and nourish us be blessed with satisfaction. And may we appreciate their time and their devotion. Bless us with the fruits of wisdom and understanding. And may our efforts bring fulfillment and joy. Baruch atah Adonai, she'otcha levadcha v'yir ne'avod. O guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to wonders of creation and alert to care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbiddenness and may our, the governor of justice and compassion help us all to appreciate not 
one another and to respect the many ways that we serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife, and may our country be sound in body and spirit. Amen. Amen. O Heavenly One, Protector and Redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love, spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead in advice, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. Amen. Amen. We will prepare to return our Torah to the Ark, page 256. Yahalalu et Shem Adonai, Let us praise the name of Adonai, for God's name alone is exalted. Kayla, on this day of your Bat Mitzvah, as you know, your grandfather, my father cannot be here this day, but I know he is smiling upon you. And so I just wanted to do a prayer for him in honor of him and how he would feel today. O Lord our God, gratefully we thank you for the joyous privilege of seeing our granddaughter attain this milestone. On this day, cherished dreams and hopes are fulfilled. On this day, new dreams and new hopes are born. We pray that your protecting and loving care will accompany her wherever she goes and all that she does. Help her to become all that she is capable of being, giving her strength to do all the good things that are within her to reach. Keep her loyal to the best that she has been shown and to the noblest Jewish teachings that she has been taught. May her deeds find favor in the eyes of others and be worthy of your blessings. Amen. As a young girl, Kayla found a love for reading. We would spend many hours reading her favorite books over and over again with her. One of her most loved authors as a child was Dr. Seuss, because, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm gonna cry, cry. Whew, okay. Uh, one of her most loved authors as a child was Dr. Seuss. Perhaps it was the way her parents became tongue-tied when reading about Tweedle Beetle Battles from Fox and Socks. One of Dr. Seuss's books, Oh, The Places You'll Go, talks about transitions we make in life as we grow up. It discusses that in life, if you have ups and downs, one day you'll be on your way up, you'll be seeing great sights. And then, I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true, that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. 
As parents, we strive to provide our children a foundation and support system to help them through life's many highs and lows. We hope and pray that our children will become positive influences in the world. We read them books, we play games, we try to set a good example ourselves. We surround our children with a community of positive mentors, including family, friends, teachers, and coaches, many of whom are here today. Kayla, Whew, sorry. In 13 years, you have continuously demonstrated such positive qualities and made us so proud to call you our daughter. You are growing up to be such a well-rounded, well-spoken, responsible, compassionate, and caring young lady. You have shown willingness to volunteer alongside your grandmother at Meals on Wheels and at a hospice home, reading and taking care of the patients and their families at such a difficult time. This is not an easy task, but you enjoyed it and look forward to going weekly to help. You are an advocate for animals, especially those in rescues. You are loyal and caring. You have the ability to see past differences between yourself and others and have surrounded yourself with an amazing group of friends, many of which you've been friends with since first grade. Kayla, you try to live by the golden rule. You treat others the way you would want to be treated. You strive to follow the rules and to be fair in all circumstances. Kayla, I have no doubt in my mind that you will succeed in life. After all, Dr. Seuss says it's 98 and 3 fourths percent guarantee. Kid, you'll move mountains. So just remember, whew, sorry. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. So as you continue your journey from a young teenager to a responsible adult, please remember you have the love and the support from not only your family, but also an entire community. You can lean on us whenever needed. We will all be here to support you, to lend an ear, to be a sounding board and cheer you on through all of life's journeys. In closing, I leave you with one more quote, but this time it's from an author you've grown to love more recently, J.K. Rowling. We do not need magic to change the world. We carry all the power we need inside ourselves already. We have the power to imagine better. Kayla, we are so proud of you. We love you. Kayla, what an incredible morning this has been. I hope that you know that you have made your friends and family very proud. You led our service with confidence and grace, and your Torah portion was fantastic. Your speech and Haftarah portion demonstrated your dedication to preparing for today and the, and the way you strive to give your all to whatever you do. I hope you are proud of what you have done. I know as one of your teachers, you have made us incredibly proud. Nine months ago, when we started preparing for today, you were, a, you were a bit quiet and nervous around me. I would try to engage you and would get one or two word answers. As we have spent time together, you've gotten more comfortable. You relaxed and opened up. We have talked about a wide range of things from the serious to the silly. I have learned all about your cats and that it is not uncommon for them to sit on you while you were practicing. And even one of them bit a copy of your speech in preparation for today. Your love of Harry Potter, your dislike of wearing jeans. I want you to know that I enjoyed the time that we spent together and it's going to be very strange not seeing you on Tuesday. The Torah portion that you read for us is a very famous and important one, Akedat Yitzchak, or the Binding of Isaac. It tells the story of God testing Abraham's faith by asking him to offer his son Isaac as a sacrifice. It is a challenging portion because for us, the request that God makes of asking for a human sacrifice is uncomfortable and strange. How could God ask Abraham, or any parent for that matter, 
to kill their own child. However, as you learned your portion, we read and discussed what this portion is really about. Abraham did not think it was strange to be asked to offer his child as a sacrifice, because this was, this was common, albeit difficult to accept, a common practice by many peoples who surrounded where Abraham lived. We discussed that ultimately, the story is about rejecting human sacrifice and the idea that animals come to replace people as the items to be sacrificed. As Abraham is stopped from offering Isaac and the ram is offered in his place. It reminds us that sometimes we need to, to understand the cultural and social setting from which our biblical material or, originates. In your speech, you explained that you saw your Torah portion as a story of faith. Whether Abraham understood it or not, he was asked by God to do something and that he did it because he trusted that God would take care of him as God had promised and that somehow everything would be all right in the end. You explained that you saw this as reminding us that things happen for a reason and we simply need to have faith and it will be okay in the end. You shared the story of two of your friends and how something bad turned into something good because you were brought into each other's lives. It is a good thing to have faith and to try and see the good that can emerge from some of the most challenging moments in our lives. May this positive attitude stay with you as you grow and mature. One of the things I truly love about Torah and especially the book of Genesis, is the fact that all the people we meet, Adam and Eve, Noah, Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca, Jacob and Leah and Rachel, are all presented as very human characters. These great leaders of the Jewish people are both good and bad. They have their strengths and their faults. Abraham had the faith to follow God's command to sacrifice his son. Yet, he claims that Sarah is his sister when they go to Egypt, not just once, but twice. I believe this is done on purpose. We are meant to see ourselves in these heroes. We are meant to understand that there is good and bad in each of us, that to be human is to be less than perfect. Kayla, I know you are a bit of a perfectionist. When you get your mind to do something, you want to do it and get it right. You hold yourself to a very high standard. This is a bo both a good thing and a not so good thing. On the positive side, it means that you strive to do your best and to put in the necessary work to make this happen. On the other side, it means that sometimes you set up un unachievable expectations and put so much pressure on yourself that it can be overwhelming. If we do not expect our biblical heroes like Abraham and Sarah, or even Moses to be perfect, how can we expect this from ourselves? As you and I have talked about, to be human is to make mistakes. We are not gonna get it all right and that's okay. We strive to do our very best, but we accept and acknowledge that despite our best efforts, sometimes we simply get things wrong. The best we can do for ourselves is to embrace the idea and learn to take our imperfection in stride. At your first lesson nine months ago, I explained what my expectations were for you and I was very clear when I told you that what I expect is that when we stand together on the day of your bat mitzvah, that I know that you are giving it your very best. Kayla, today you have not let me down. You, you, we have seen your dedication and your effort, and we know, we know what is tr and what is, and that is truly important. I hope that today and in the future, you will be able to see the same and strive to do your best 
while understanding your personal limitations and challenges. It is with these thoughts and hopes in mind that we now move before the Aron HaKodesh, the Holy Ark, and ask God's blessing upon you. And we rise. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be good to you. May God's face be lifted up to shine upon you, to be good to you, and most of all to grant you the gift of peace. And together we say, Amen. We turn to the words of Alenu in the middle of page 282 and remain standing. Alenu l'shabeach l'adon hakol l'atet gedula l'yotze b'reishit sh'lo asam k'goye ha'ratzot v'lo osam anu k'mishpechot ha'dama sh'lo osam chelkenu k'ahem Continue at the top of 285. Let the time not be distant, O God, when all shall turn to you in love, when corruption and evil shall give way to integrity and goodness, when superstition shall no longer enslave the mind, nor idolatry blind the eye. May all created in your image become one in spirit and one in friendship, forever united in your service. Then shall your realm be established on earth, and the word of your prophet fulfilled, Adonai will reign forever and ever. V'nemar v'haya Adonai l'melech al kol ha'aretz v'ayom ha'hu, v'ayom ha'hu y'ye Adonai echad u'shemo As we gather as community to celebrate Shabbat and this, this Bat Mitzvah, we also pause for a moment to remember. We remember Paul Kraft and Betty Moyer, those who from this family who are not here today but join us in spirit. To their names we link those who are in their period of Shloshim, the first 30 days since the time of their death, as we recall the names of Alice and Rotenberg and Thomas Frank. To their names we link those whose yard sites the anniversary of whose death falls this week, as we remember Irvin Brock, Milton Cohen, Emily Epstein, Morris Guggenheim, Regina Herman, Joseph Hoffman, Eva N. Hyman, Maurice C. Isaacs, Arthur Levenger, Helen Lightman, Martha M. Marcus, Baruch Masuda, Susan Mendelson, Anna Miller, Samuel Sagel, Danielle Sedlis, Zelda Singer, Ruben Wiener. Zichronam Libracha, may their memories forever be a blessing as we as one community turn to the words of Mourner's Kaddish, page 294. <laughs> 
Bechayechon v'yomechon, v'chayetecho Beit Yisrael, v'agalau v'zman kari v'imru. Amen. Yehesh mei rabba mevorach ve'olam ulomei almaya, yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitbaar v'yitromam v'yitnaseh, v'yit hadar v'yitalev v'yitalal shemeid k'dusha b'richu, v'elam in kol b'irchata v'shirata, Tushbichata v'nechemata, damiran b'alma v'yimru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya, v'chaim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'yimru, amen. Ose shalom v'mromav, hu yaase shalom, aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'yimru, amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven, and life for us, for all Israel and all the world, to which we say, Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Kayla, there are a number of presentations for you at this time. So we call upon our president. Kayla. On behalf of the trustees of Reform Congregation Oeb Shalom, it's my honor and privilege to present you with your Bat Mitzvah certificate, November 16, 2019. It's a testament to your hard work over the last few years to get to this point, and we hope you'll continue your Jewish education at RCOS. I'm very lucky that I've had the opportunity to wear several hats in your life as a teacher, as a friend of your family. But this time, it's as on behalf of sisterhood. So you did a wonderful job. I told you you would. Right? All good? finish our service, we turn to the words of uh, the blessing to uh, celebrate, uh, that we use at times of celebration, the Kiddush, uh, the Kiddush service. Um, I don't have a page number for it, but we turn the blessing over the wine and then finally the blessing over the bread before we finish our service. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pariah Gafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam HaMotzi Lechem Min Haaretz Amen The hardest thing is to grab a piece of challah to eat but right before we go into our closing song can smile now. <laughs> and by Kayla's request, we are closing with the words of Ein Kelohenu on page 322. Ein <laughs> No de la no de la no de la no de la Baruch 
Jacket back on because the air came on. Well, good. 